Welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We just finished episode 3. Now it's time to do the bonus episode of Farewell, where we go back in time even a bit more, back to when Chloe and Max were hanging out. <laughs> Look at that, the uh, little loading icon is a pirate flag. It's a nice touch that they changed that. Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. <laughs> oh, <Max. laughs> this is a terrible idea. Wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen. That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <sighs> Sorry, chum. That's better. Before it was strange that there's a different voice actor for Chloe, and now that it, it now it's strange that it's the original voice actor for Chloe once again. That was awesome. Who else but Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure? I hope that huge smudge on the ground comes off. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. Dear parents, congratulations. Your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted for September 2008 admission to Blackwell Academy. 
We have offered places to approximately 100 students out of 1,200 applicants. Your child excelled in all criteria for admission. Yeah, so we saw, um, playing the original three episodes here, obviously <laughs> Chloe got suspended and, you know, before they were suspended they were just missing classes pretty much all the time and doing absolutely terrible. But we saw little glimmers of how they used to like science and they used to be into school and they used to be good at school. So yeah, the turnaround for that really was when her father died. Before that, it looks like she was doing great in school. Fantastic. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just... I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I... I hate fake people. You're... real. Thanks. So that acceptance letter said they've been accepted for the, like, 2008 school year? And before, in the original three episodes, and before the storm, it was 2010. And at that point, she was about 16, so this is about two years prior to what we saw before, and I think we're both probably about 14 years old. Are there any old hobbies Chloe no longer cares about? Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. Sorry, Max. You're just pretty small. <laughs> and Chloe's quite tall. Is that a half-eaten jawbreaker? I've only eaten one huge jawbreaker in my entire life. It was a terrible experience. I licked it so hard and so much that it made my tongue kind of bleed. Never had another one after that. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. Ugh. Chloe's gonna make this so hard, isn't she? You're right. The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been in there? It must be coated in so much dust. Oh. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. It's funny how much things change, but sort of didn't change in just about two years. She's like openly such a nerd. I could try Chloe's old magic set. Her magician face is definitely over. She used to be such a, like, unashamedly a nerd, and then a couple years later, in the three episodes we played, she was like, sort of, sort of like a stealth nerd, I guess. You know, <laughs> totally not a nerd. Uh, nerds, okay, yeah, sure, I'll play tabletop, you know, D&D with you. <laughs> Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures.
Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay. The adventurous adventure, adventurous adventures of Super Max and Dr. Chloenstein. Our crime fighting has really soared since you created those rocket boosters. Of course, power flight does tend to make things easier. And Cloenstein's gone. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Oh, this was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? <sighs> the sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right. Back to the junk mines. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever. And I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. Chloe, we haven't played this game in years. And it's missing half the pieces. <laughs> nice try, Max. But you can't erase your shame that easily. <laughs> Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, O oh, almighty Glowy Bear. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE, though. Pretty much straight A's. Nice. Well, there's a little, like, a uh, science project there. I don't know what it is. I see like cop copper coil. There's like a green bulb. Huh. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town. All in the past now. soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. Maybe I have 
haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. I hadn't realized that Chloe doesn't even know yet. Wait, Chloe doesn't even know yet. Didn't Max say this might be the last chance to say goodbye? Are they leaving like tomorrow? Like immediately? Or do they have I've some time? I've tried my best to clean this place. I should check in with Chloe now. Oh no, there's more to do. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. Can I take pictures of anything? Glowy bear? Doesn't seem like it in here. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. <sighs> well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? All right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Ah, uh, I should tell her now. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... Uh, I... Don't know how Holy to... shit! Max, hold that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer! Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long oh Max Silver! You were such <laughs> so, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek... <laughs> See mine eyes, spot. Pirate winches. <laughs> what? Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. 
I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. <laughs> Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. For, uh, again, only those <laughs> with pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And... Uh... Bye. <laughs> Dude. That was... Amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Uh, I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. Property of Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. The Bane of Arcadia. Crow's Nest. Saloon. Cockpit. Galley. Cannons. Treasure Keep. <laughs> oh! Pogo the Pirate. The Gang. <laughs> That's adorable. Pirate Rules. No bathing. No boys on the ship. No sharing pirate secrets. Always share plunder. Always bury treasure. Always protect fellow pirates. Failure to obey these rules will result in plank walking. Captain's Log. Another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil commander Shelley, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard how valuable our treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We're doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it. Because our enemies want our treasure so bad, we must make sure the map is only readable to us. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. To more plunder and riches. Captain Bluebeard, Long Max Silver. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. But where could it be? This is so cool that we actually get to go on a treasure hunt. <laughs> that is so cool. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Hmm, maybe. Looks like some social studies homework. <laughs> Written up there. Great job as always, Chloe. Now please try to pay attention in class instead of drawing pictures with Maxine. I mean, who cares if they're getting 100%? They obviously don't need to pay more attention. Max and Chloe's sewer adventure. Oh, That squirrel has some really, really big legs. You are Max and Chloe, the best friends and students in school. You sit in class until suddenly a cute squirrel arrives at the window. It is so cute. Do you want to pet it? Oh, it's a choose your own adventure, go to the page sort of thing. Pet the squirrel, page eight. 
Don't pet the squirrel, page three. Well, definitely page eight. Oh god, the squirrel's eating their arm. You go to the window and pet the squirrel. Of course, why wouldn't you? It's a cute squirrel and you want to pet it. Hey, Mr. Squirrel, you say. Ah, stop biting me, you say next because the squirrel is now biting your hand. But it's too late. You have rabies. Mrs. Anders has to shoot you so you don't bite anyone else. This makes her very sad. Guess you shouldn't have pet the squirrel. The end. <laughs> it's just like goosebumps. I remember that as a kid. Okay, what was it? Page two, if you don't? No, page three. Don't pet the squirrel. Page three. Why don't you like squirrels? They're so cute and nice. You must be very mean. The squirrel seems annoyed that you ignored her. She runs in and steals the book report right off your desk, then runs back outside. That squirrel stole my book report! You tell the teacher. Uh-huh. Whatever you say. Mrs. Anders responds, clearly not believing you. What do you do? Chase the squirrel, page 4, or stay in class, page 10. Let's try page 10, stay in class. I got a feeling that's an end. It is. You decide not to chase the squirrel. When the time comes to prevent, uh, present your book report, you tell Mrs. Anders that a squirrel stole it and ran away. She doesn't believe you. Remember, I told you she doesn't believe you. Why didn't you listen? You should pay more attention. Anyway, <laughs> Mrs. Anders reports you to the principal and soon you're kicked out of school for being a bad student. Without school you can't ever get a job or make money. Now you live in a shack without TV and do drugs. Soon you will be dead. Guess you should have paid attention. The end. Damn. Grim. Chase Squirrel, page 4. As soon as Mrs. Anders turns around, you run out the window and chase the squirrel. This is a very bad thing to do, and you hope you won't get in trouble later, but you probably will. Outside, you look around, but you can't find the squirrel. Is she gone? Oh, there she is. She's standing next to a sewer hole. You run up to her, but she gets scared and jumps down. Oh boy, do you really want to go down there? Um, jump down the sewer, page two. Oh, that actually looks like it continues, so let's... Like, I'm, I want to look at the ends first. Uh, find another way, page six. Oh no, that also goes two different ways. Alright, so we've got two branching paths. Let's jump down the sewer first. You are very... Crossed out, stupid. Brave. <laughs> you leap down into the sewer. Thankfully, there's a pile of trash, banana peels, and dirty diapers to land on. Phew. You hear a squirrely sound in the distance, so you run to follow it. There's many twists and turns. Eventually you come to a fork in the road, but now is not the time for eating, so you put the fork back down and consider the two paths in front of you. <laughs> On the ground you see a trail of tiny footprints to the left, and a trail of chewed up paper to the right. Which way do you go? Um, let's go left, page 9. You picked right. I mean, left. Which was right? It's confusing. In the distance, you see the squirrel, but he's not moving. In fact, he's dead. Who would kill a poor squirrel? Suddenly, the ground begins to shake. Around the corner, a giant rat appears. It's the biggest rat you've ever seen. The biggest anything you've ever seen. It's the Rat King. The Rat King is wearing a crown and standing on a throne of all your missing homework. Including your book report. What do you do? Uh, run towards it, page 12. Your dad always tells you to run towards your problems, not away from them. Unfortunately, you picked a really bad time to start listening to him. You run toward the Rat King. At first, you seem surprised. You try to punch him in his face, but you forgot about his long, hairy, gross tail. He wraps you up like a boa constrictor and drops you into his mouth, swallowing you with one gulp. Now you get to see what the insides of a rat looks like. This would make a great science report. Too bad you won't be alive to tell anyone. The end. Uh, run away, page 5. You run away like a scaredy cat. I don't blame you. That thing is gross. As you run, you almost trip on a small, shiny object. You pick it up. It's a lighter. Your mom never lets you play with these. But she's not here right now, is she? Now is your chance to kill the Rat King and protect all the students' homework once and for all. This is your chance to be a hero. Do you do it? Just kidding, you don't get a choice. You may get to choose some things, but I'm still the author here. 
You have to attack the Rat King. But how do you want to attack him? Huh, I could burn the throne, but the throne's been out of our homework. If I burn that, then... I mean, I still don't have a book report. <laughs> but let's do it. 13. I'm sure that'll be an ending. You decide to burn the Rat King's throne. It hurts you to burn all of that amazing homework, including your wonderful book report, but you remember that it's for a good reason. As soon as the throne catches fire, the Rat King begins screaming, No! My throne! Suddenly the Rat King begins to shrink. Before long, he's back to the size of a normal rat. He can't even climb out of his huge crown. Oh, he's so cute now. You run back to class and tell Mrs. Anders all about the Rat King and everything that happened. Not only does she forgive you for not having your book report, but she declares that you are the greatest hero in the school. Duh. The end. Until the next Max and Chloe adventure. Oh, I guess I chose the right option. Okay, where were we before? Right, Runaway, page 5. Um, let's try to burn his tail, page 11. You decide to burn his gross, long, hairy tail. Good plan. Whoosh. The Rat King's tail is on fire. He does not like that one bit. He starts freaking out, waving his tail around like crazy. You know all the trash and dirty diapers in the sewer? Those are highly inflammable. Which means the same as flammable for some reason. Suddenly the entire sewer catches on fire. You're surrounded by gross sewer flames. Is this really how you die? Burning to death with the Rat King in a disgusting sewer? Yes, it is. The end. <laughs> okay, so where were we before? So we did both options from page 5. Um, jump down the sewer. Let's go back to jumping down the sewer, sewer. And instead of going left, let's follow the paper trail on the right. Page 7. Smart choice. You go to the right, following the path of chewed papers. After a bit of walking, you end up in a dark corner. Suddenly the floor falls away. You find yourself swimming in some sort of warm liquid, almost like a big puddle, except... Why does this liquid taste like acorns? A bright light comes on. It turns out you're not in a puddle, you're in a big bowl of acorn soup. And all around you are squirrels, holding spoons and wearing tiny little aprons. They look so cute! And the soup keeps getting hotter. Guess you weren't too smart after all. At least you'll be delicious. Okay, so that would put us back to when we jumped down the sewer. So instead of doing that, let's find another way. Page 6. I don't blame you. That sewer hole looks pretty scary. But is there any other way down? Suddenly a light bulb appears above your head. You use it to light the way back to your house and into your bedroom. You step one foot into the toilet and flush. Fwoosh. Next thing you know, you're in the sewer. On the ground, you see a trail of tiny footprints to the left and a trail of chewed up paper to the right. Which way do you go? Oh, so it goes back to the same thing. Except instead of jumping down the sewer, you flush yourself down the toilet. Cool. So let's just look through all these pages, make sure I didn't miss any. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, here we go. This is so inventive, Maxine and Chloe. Uh, but next time, please do the book report you were assigned. Smiley face. <laughs> oh, yes! Take that, Rat King. That was so cool. I love that. Ooh, photo. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Ah, let's take a photograph together. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. I want to see how that photograph turned out. Uh, oh, we can't like look at the journal thing to look at it. it says I can't open the treasure map, so I guess that's going to open the treasure map once we get it. So we're looking for old schoolwork. Bingo. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, the photographs, I guess, are going to appear, like, around the treasure map or something, because the one we just took is on the top left. 
I'm not even looking at the map yet. I'm just looking at all the stuff around it. It's so cool. It's like an eraser with a doodle on it. Some uh, watercolor paints at the bottom. Bottom left. All right. Let's look at the treasure map. Um, so where's our destination? Which one is our destination? Is it the Price Castle or Chloe's Secret Lair? It's gotta be the castle, right? Because this this room that we're in is probably the secret lair right now. I'm guessing. The amulet shows us the way to the dark cavern, it looks like. Huh. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, aka the attic! Ugh. Why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of? Was? <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears, then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. Okay, I think I'll end this episode here. You know, I thought this episode would probably be pretty sad because I mean it's the farewell not the final farewell because we know from the original life is strange that they meet back up but yeah I mean it's adorable and happy but also really sad at the same time <sighs> that's been everything in the entire before the storm first three episodes seeing Rachel and Chloe together super happy to see them together but sad to, th to think of what happens to Rachel which is they get murdered is gut-wrenching to think that that's going to happen. And then knowing that for years Chloe's going to be really sad that Max just left and going to feel abandoned and betrayed is feels horrible too. Damn it, Life is Strange is so sad. Ugh. Anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed so far and I'll be back soon to try to find the amulet.